Jocelyn Snow, and welcome to episode four of Be The Boss. Today we're going to talk about building confidence. But before we get started, I just want to take a second and thank you all for following and subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate it. Thanks to Craig who wrote in uh, with pictures and videos of his little girls. It's so nice to see that they're getting something out of the videos and to watch their writing improve. It's amazing. So to Olivia and Madison, stick with it. I'm proud of you. Now last week we talked about four things that can help you improve your writing. A, B, C, and D. Attitude, balance, confidence, and discipline. We also mentioned that attitude, balance, and discipline are all things that you can work on. But where do you get confidence? Now there's all kinds of exercises that you can practice to help you build confidence when riding your motorcycle. Starting and stopping, tight cornering, figure eights are all great. Also get familiar with your motorcycle. Understanding how to perform minor repairs, basic maintenance, and knowing the controls and functions of your motorcycle can all help. But today I'm going to show you four unique exercises that you can practice to build confidence. The same ones that I used when I was learning how to tame the beast. Let's check it out. The first exercise I want to show you today is called side steps. Now, if you're watching my videos, you probably can't put two feet down on your motorcycle, flat footed on the ground, and balance your bike. I know I can't. So what we have to do to balance the bike that I showed you in one of the earlier episodes is basically cradle the seat on our knee and hold the bike upright. So what happens when you're riding on a trail and you suddenly have to stop? If I decide to stop quickly and I go to put this foot down on the ground flat, the bike is going to be at such a great lean angle, it's going to tip over. And this happens. And when this happens, you start to lose confidence with riding the bike. And then maybe you don't want to head down that dirt road by yourself on a ride. So we're going to build some muscle memory for you to help you immediately and quickly get your foot down, plant it on the ground, and balance the bike. So the side steps go like this. Position yourself on the bike, hands on the grips, looking ahead. I am going to balance and slide off the seat and put my left foot down. It goes like this. Sliding, foot down. The exercise is the two step. So we're going to go back and forth, back and forth, balancing the bike the whole time. Slide off, get your foot down, and balance the bike. Practice this at home. This next exercise is called balance the bike. Now as you can see, I have this bike in complete balance using only one finger. This just demonstrates that when the bike is in balance, it doesn't weigh a thing. Now, if you remember the last episode, when I first got my Big Adventure bike, I was so intimidated by it. It's so big, it's so heavy, it keeps tipping over. So this exercise that we're going to do, which is a walk around, balance the bike, is going to help you with confidence here. It's going to remind you that the bike, when in balance, again, it doesn't weigh a thing. The first thing you want to do is have suspension in your knees. Bend your knees so that as the bike pulls and pushes, as you're trying to find the balance point, you're able to adjust. With straight legs, if the bike gets off balance, so do you. And when you're off balance and the bike is off balance, well, then we're gonna go to our next episode, which will be picking the bike up. So bent knees, make sure you breathe. And again, you need to look ahead heard me talk about that one before. So we're going to start with our hand on the handlebar. 
you're going to pick your next balance point, which I'm going to pick over on the front windscreen. I'm going to get the bike in balance. I'm no longer going to look at my hand on the handlebar. Instead, I'm going to look where I'd like to put my hand, which is on the windscreen. With the bike in balance, I'm going to breathe. My knees are bent. I'm going to let go and grab the bike at the next balance point. I'm going to work this process all the way around the motorcycle. And now we're at our third exercise, which is called take the bike for a walk. In this exercise, we're going to practice becoming more familiar with the friction zone on the clutch, using the clutch to power the bike, the clutch only, no throttle. Um, we're also going to balance the bike from the previous exercise. So this is going to get us more comfortable in just moving the bike around. We're going to start off with a hand at each grip the bike idling and using only the clutch. With the bike in gear, we're gonna move the bike forward and take it for a walk. Once we get more comfortable with this, then we're gonna switch to one hand. You can use your left hand. You can use your right hand. I prefer my right hand because I feel like I have a little bit more leverage because I'm further away from the bike so I can pull it back into balance. As opposed to my left hand, I'm a little bit closer it's easier for it to pull me off of balance. But either hand works. Don't forget to bend your knees so you have your own suspension. So when the bike's pulling, it's not pulling you off balance as well. So once you get that mastered, you can eventually work it into some circles, some figure eights. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to an incline. We're gonna roll the bike up onto an incline and hold it using just the clutch and allow it to roll back down. Let's go check it out. anybody want to ride blind? How is that going to help with your confidence? Especially since you know you've been taught all this time where you look is where you go and how important your eyesight is to make sure that you can stay in balance. Well the blind ride is designed to take away a sense which is your eyesight and when that happens your other senses tend to kick in 
um, they become a bit more acute. So, you know, your sense of feel, you can feel the breeze, you can, you can hear the wind chimes, the dog barking to help you with your direction. A light grip on the bars, you can feel the front end, the ground, the terrain, and you can, <laughs> dude, uh, Brock's, Brock's coming. They're busy. He doesn't know we're filming today. But you know what? Keep rolling. This is good. Come here. This is perfect. Now I don't have to do it. <laughs> we, we, we have a volunteer. <laughs> hey, Brock. Hey, I was trying not to interrupt you. No, this is perfect. Um, I want to know if you could uh, put these goggles on and ride your bike uh, over to the orange cones on the ground there for the camera. Ah, why not? Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're demonstrating the blind ride, so you won't be able to see out the goggles. Oh. So instead, you're going to want to kind of feel the terrain through the handlebars. You need to be confident. One, you got once you got the bike rolling, just stand up and balance the bike. I'm going to be with you the whole time. I got this air horn. So if you hear that noise, that means you're getting too close to an obstacle and, and you just need to slow down, stop, and put your feet down. Let's try it. Are you sure about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is going to build your confidence, Brock. Because when we're all done with this, Brock's going to be able to say, well, I can ride this bike blindfolded. <laughs> you're going to be able to say, and I can balance it with one hand. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Ready when you are.
Yeah. Got <laughs> to rock it all, all right, over right, the place. Right, Who right, wants right, to do all that? That's a variation. I got, I got you. I don't have time for yeah. that. Neanderthal. <laughs> 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 degree by degree. That's go on rush it. Go on rush That's crazy. Okay, okay, here we go. Hey, Brock, Brock, no, nah, we're, we're going that way. Uh, yeah? Yeah. So we gotta go all the way around? Yeah, show me your turn on a dime. <laughs> Alright. What you want to do? That's crazy. I know, but it's quicker. It's quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh look man. At that. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> that was great. Hey, good job today. Nice. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh, oh shit, this is on? Cold beers. <laughs>